Hi everybody, this is Kevin Purcell with Notebooks.com and I've got a Mac app highlight. Now this is not a Mac app store highlight because unfortunately this app is not in the app store but it's so good I wanted to show it to you anyway. It's called Desk Covery. Now that's kind of an awkward name but it has to do with uh, as in a desktop and discovery put together. Now when you run it, it has a little menu up here and uh, it pops up and you can see the, the different things down here um, made by a company called Neo Mobily and uh, you'll have to go to their website. It's a little bit difficult to find because of the name every time I search for Discovery in uh, Google it always wants to switch it to Discovery as in the Discovery Channel. Now it also runs down here in the dock and we'll show you that in a minute but the main feature of it and the thing I like most about it is what it does to this little green zoom button, the plus button. Uh, for people like me who have spent most of their adult life computing on a Windows machine, that plus is supposed to maximize the button. That's what it does. It's usually over here on this side. But on a Mac, it doesn't fully do that. Uh, it maximizes it a little bit, but it doesn't fill the whole screen. Well, with this, you've got that now. Just uh, click and hold on it and then let go when you have it covered over that little center button and notice how it does maximize the screen but it also has some other great features you can put it in the upper left quadrant in the lower right quadrant you can put it in the right side or left side now over here on this side we have a button and what that does is that minimizes the window but still shows the title bar. So notice how we have the title bar up here. We've got the uh, iMovie app open behind it. But right here we have the Word title bar and Word is still the active program. Now what you can do instead of hitting that green button is you can just double click on the title bar. It's going to make a liar out of me. It normally works. I'm not sure why it's having so much trouble today. Use, as, as is always, when you're trying to demonstrate it doesn't work properly. I've never not had it work until just now. So I'm not sure what the problem is. Let's try it with a different app. There we go. See, it did it with iMovie. I'm not sure why it won't do it with uh, Word. Anyway, I guess that's a little bug with it. Uh, maybe the developer will figure that out. It doesn't work with Word. That's the only time it's ever happened to me. <laughs> So it's a little embarrassing. Now that this other window, or what this other button right here does, is notice how what it's going to happen to this Word window. See how it becomes translucent, and I can see through the window to the app behind it. See, now I'll click on that, and it shows you uh, iMovie. Highlight uh, Word again. Now you click on it again, and you want it to go away. You're done doing that. What's the value in that? Well, I'm going to bring over a tab from uh, Firefox over here and let's say I was working on an article and I had an, a, a web page open and I was wanting to type about something behind that and what I can do is hit that translucent button. See now I can see through it so I can start typing. Maybe I'm typing about this uh, app that I've got up here, one of our previous Mac App Store highlights, Cinch Cinch is a Mac app in the app store. All right, and see, I can find out information about it. I can come over here, and as long as my mouse is not covered, uh, not over the Word document, it'll scroll what's behind it. And see, I can see through and see what it says here. See, it says Cinch runs in the background. All right, so I could write it, if I could type it, runs in the background. You get the idea to it. And so that's pretty cool. I like that. Now this third one down here is a pin button which uh, pins the window and toggles between those two modes. I think that's what it does. And then down here uh, what you'll notice is the desk covery uh, dock icon. It has two windows open. See now I have two spaces set up 
on my Mac desktop here. And so if I click on this, click on that, and it stays in the current space. Click on that, notice how it rotates to the next space and brings Word with it. I think there's a problem with Word and not the app, actually, because Word should stay in its own space, but notice how it's still here in this one as well. That's kind of interesting. Um, you can change these by going into the preferences and notice this thing right here. It says cube. I can change to slide. See now it slides back and forth. You can have it zoom. Let's see what the zoom looks like. Wow, that's kind of cool. All right. And there's other things, flip, fade, cube, or none. That way it'll just pop. I like the cube. Um, and then these set the, uh, this is the transparency level when you set this icon right here. We won't do it now. And uh, this tells you whether you want it to start it at uh, log on. Show the menu icon. This is that down here. Uh, show the dock. I'm sorry, the menu icon is this up here. The dock icon is this down here as a space switcher. Uh, double clicking the title bar gives you different options. You can min center it, minimize it to the title bar, make it full screen, or do nothing. In fact, I think I'm going to change that to make it full screen. So now what I'll do is uh, alright, now I've got Firefox set as the left hand on the left hand side double click it, see now that takes it to a full screen. If I double click again, it stays in full screen mode. I wish that would actually toggle from the last thing you had it at. Uh, that would be a useful thing if it did. Uh, double clicking it again would go back and forth, but it doesn't. And this enables the, the zoom button actions, which is what uh, these are. And this enables the window list. Let me show you the window list. It's over here on the left side. If I pop it up, notice how all the different windows that I have, and that makes it a nice task switcher. You can set that so that it goes to the right side. So now, there it is on the right side. But I like it over here on the left. Now this wobbly window effect, if I make certain that that is on, then what's going to happen is, let's bring up uh, iCal, notice how it kind of wobbles a little bit. Unfortunately, I've noticed that while I am... Um, recording, unfortunately that wobble effect looks really bad, so I can't really show you how smooth it is. Normally it's very smooth and you don't have any problems with it. Now these other menu items, you get shortcuts. These are desktop and keyboard shortcuts. Uh, this is info about the uh, app and if you want to check for updates. I really like desk recovery. Along with the app Cinch, which is what I'm showing you here in a previous article, these two apps put together make this the perfect combination for people who hate the way OS 10 handles their uh, window management. If you know about OS 10, the only way to handle windows is you have to drag from the corner. That's the only way to resize anything. That's annoying and absolutely idiotic. And then these three silly buttons. The X, I know, it gets rid of the window. The minus basically does the same thing. It just minimizes it. So these two really sort of act the same way. Now this actually closes it and this minimizes it. But uh, that's useless. And then this one, all it does, it doesn't really go full screen unless you've already had it full screen. Uh, so it toggles back and forth between the last mode. And, and that's just dumb. It, it, this ought to always make it a full screen, in my opinion. But it doesn't. And so that's one of my pet peeves about Mac OS X. So Cinch and um, Desk Covery work together. What Cinch does is, notice the dotted lines. It's now, since I drag it up to the top, it's going to become a full screen. If I drag it over here to the right, it's going to fill that side, or it's supposed to anyway. And uh, so, you know, they sort of do the same thing a little bit, but sometimes it's nice to be able to drag your window to do that, and sometimes it's good to have uh, this button over here to do that. Anyway, we are going to be offering a uh, discount on this. The developer has graciously allowed us to give you a nice little discount and so the full details will be about uh, will be shown down here at the bottom of the screen where you can see um, where to go in order to find that discount at notebooks.com uh, 
Uh, it'll be a uh, the full written review of this article or of this uh, app. And so I hope that you'll take advantage of that. It's only $24.99, which uh, may seem like it's steep, but in order to get rid of this annoyance of the way OS X handles window management, to me it was worth uh, that $25. Now, for full disclosure, they gave us a free copy of it to do this review, but I would, would have paid if uh, they had not said yes. I would have gone ahead and paid for the app because I tried it out first. Um, and so you can do the same thing. Give it a test, see if you like it, and if you do... You can uh, get it at, at a discount for the next three days. This has been Kevin Purcell from Notebooks.com with Desk Covery as this week's Mac app highlight. Thank you for watching.